Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Inside Guns with your host, me, the Yankee Marshall. And today, I am kind of a cranky Yankee. I am upset, which is why I'm wearing my Flames shirt from Madeline Kahn, because I am angry. And I'm angry because I'm coming at you with some bad news from the Supreme Court. Amy Coney Barrett and the rest of the justices have failed us in the state of Illinois. They have decided to let the assault weapons ban in that state stand and make its way through the courts. Now, I know a lot of people right now are saying, oh, aren't you someone who said we can't pay attention to little skirmishes? We have to actually pay attention to the overall war and not to let ourselves get upset. Uh, well, to those people, I say, shut up. How dare you use my words against me? Don't you know that here on my channel, it is do as I say, not do as I do. If you did as I do, well, we'd be a bunch of hotheads running around because I'm kind of a jerk. I don't know if you know that or not, but I can be kind of moody. Uh, I can be a downright cut sometimes, according to my kids, because like I said, I'm an artist and we're supposed to be emotional. Uh, and things like this sometimes get to me. I'm telling you all to be calm, you know, look at the big picture, while I myself am trying to find my pitchfork and trying to figure out how to fashion a torch out of an ax handle and some old Duran Duran t-shirts. So I can be a little bit reactionary. But in this case, I'm wondering, is it justified? Yes, I am upset that this didn't get cut off quicker than it's going to be cut off. And it is just a minor skirmish here. This is not the war we're losing. But I am a little bit upset. But is it as bad a news as some people think it is? I don't think it is. If you read the responses from uh, Naperville and the state and you read what the justices did today, it all makes sense in a way. Because Naperville's biggest argument against a stay was that the uh, standards had not been met for the Supreme Court to step in early. There's a strict set of protocol that's in place before the Supreme Court can step in on something before it actually goes through the lower courts. And Naperville argued that you haven't made an actual judgment on this specific case or this specific topic yet. So you have to let it go through the courts first and then you can step in. And that argument seems to have worked. And the reason that argument seems to have worked is because they issued their ruling today with no dissents, none at all. If they were just saying, well, yeah, the state's right, this law is constitutional, there would have been some dissents, at least two I can think of, Thomas and uh, uh, Barry McGee, whatever his name is uh, there, I forget his name. But uh, you know who I'm talking about. They would have dissented. They didn't. So you got to think either they did one of two things. They said, yeah, we can't rule yet because we got to let it go through the courts first. And it has been fast tracked. I know some people are like, oh, it's going to be five years before it even gets through the courts. No, it's going to be in June. It will be heard in June by the appeals court. Now, I don't really think we'll win there uh, because the state of Illinois is pretty much stacked against us as far as judges. It's a bunch of uh, judges who want to enforce their own personal opinions and their own political agendas on society rather than interpret the law. But so I don't think we have much of a chance of winning there. It's where it's when they rule against what the Supreme Court would rule and the Supreme Court then steps in and holds the case was when I think we'll really win. But like I was saying, I was hoping for a stay until that happened. But since what the state said makes sense procedurally, I think this is a procedural issue. Like I said, if it wasn't just a procedural issue, there would have been some dissent. Also, they may have negotiated behind the scenes that, hey, once this is through this level, this is what we're going to do. So we have no reason to be upset right now. We have no reason to act right now. We have no reason to dissent, uh, to issue a dissent. So that's what I think is happening right now, even though it is frustrating. And it's really easy to say, I want to burn it all down. We're still winning. We've got so many wins under our belt, it's not funny. There hasn't been one gun rights case that has made it to the Supreme Court yet in a long time that we did not win. Every time something makes it to the Supreme Court, we come out with our rights being stronger than ever with this current court. And I have no reason to believe that it would be any different now. So even though this is upsetting and it's, you know, not what we wanted, it does seem to legally make sense. 
Uh, maybe I can get Washington Gun Law on my channel here soon. He said he would come on if I contact him. I just got to contact him. And we could hear what his opinion on it is. But I think right now we're looking at more of a procedural thing than we are anything else. And that's why they're staying out of it. It is fast-tracked for June. And like I said, I expect us fully to lose that case in Illinois. Like I said, stacked against us. Not exactly a fair trial there. But once it goes to the Supreme Court, I see the trend of our rights being not only upheld, but strengthened, continuing. So for right now, uh, I'm not going to label Oni, uh, uh, Amy Coney Barrett, you know, uh, a mean old bitch yet. Uh, well, I'll, I'll get it loaded up in the cannon just in case. But I do think in the end, things are going to work out just like we've been saying they will the whole time. I don't think anything has changed. I just think the timetable has changed a little bit here. And since this case is fast-tracked for June, I think we'll see movement before the end of the summer, definitely, from the Supreme Court. But we're just going to have to wait a little while longer. All right, everybody, before we go, I want to remind everyone that we have started the Save the 40 campaign. You know, they are trying to shove 9mm down our throats, that little pansy European round. I tell you, it's a conspiracy between the gun manufacturers and the government and whoever else is in power to disarm all of us without us even knowing we've been disarmed. You know, we're walking around out there with our little nine millimeter pansy guns like a bunch of eunuchs thinking we're armed when we're really not because like I said, it's nine millimeter. So I've started a campaign to bring back the 40 and not only bring it back, but to replace the nine millimeter as the most common and base caliber for handguns in this country. 40 should be as low as we go. And even then, if you want to maintain your man card, you probably are going to need a, a note from your doctor to do that, to tell us why you're not carrying 10 millimeter. But we want 40 to be the base round. And like I said, I have started the Save the 40 campaign. It's a grassroots campaign and it's growing exponentially. I mean, two weeks ago, there were zero members. Now there's like 30. Uh, so we're growing. Once we get to like 3 million we will march on Washington or wherever we would need to march, Massachusetts maybe, or Georgia, uh, to demand that the gun industry reinstate 40 as the most common and the base level for handgun calibers in this country. Get rid of that, you know, tea-sipping, uh, beret-wearing, 9 millimeter European pansy round. If you want to be a member of this movement, go over to tympistolproject.com, buy any of the Save the 40 merchandise, even if it's just a sticker, you will be officially considered a member of the Save the 40s campaign, and someday in the future, we will call on you to stand up and be heard and be seen and be counted. And until then, you can be heard and be seen by wearing your Save the 40s merchandise or putting a sticker on your car, you know. Help be part of this grassroots movement. Let's make a difference in this country. Let's get it back to where when we carry a handgun, we're actually armed instead of like it is now with these nine millimeter jokes that people are carrying around. So like I said, join me and save the 40s. And with that being said, I am out of here. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hope to see you again tomorrow. Until then, remember, always carry and stay safe until I see you again.